Today, we will discuss the life of Rizal during Paris to Berlin around 1885 to 1887. After completing his studies in Madrid, Rizal went to Paris and Germany to specialize in ophthalmology. Um, after the um, he done with his studies in Madrid, Rizal um, went to Paris and Germany to specialize naman the ophthalmology. So, pinili ito ni Rizal na branch ng medicine because um, his mother, he, want to cure, he wanted to cure the, his mother's ailment. Um, um, he served as assistant and a famous ecologist of Europe to be discussed in the next next few slide. And then, in Berlin, capital of then unified Germany, he met and befriended um, several top German scientists, Dr. Fyodor Jogor, Dr. Adolf B. Mayer, Dr. Hans Mayer, and Adolf Pershu. So, um, um, si Dr. Fyodor Jokor is a traveler and um, a author. Um, he travels in the Philippines um, 1859 to 1860, um, where she, he wrote um, a book um, which titled um, Travels in the Philippines. Rizal um, read this book and one of his favorite um books of Dr. Jokor. Um, his merit as a scientist were recognized by eminent scientists of Europe. Um, and gave Paris the man um, um, after his studies in Central University of Madrid, Siriza was already 20, 24 years old and a physician. He went to Paris Para mag-acquire, um, ng para mag-acquire ng more knowledge about um, um, ophthalmology. Sa pagpunta niya sa Paris, nag-stop siya sa Barcelona para bisitahin ang kanyang kaibigan na si Maximo Viola, isang medical student and a member of rich family in San Miguel Bulacan. Naging kaibigan din ni Rizal si Senor Yusobio Corominas, doon siya, doon si Rizal nagstay for over a week at si Senor Yusobio Corominas, siya ay ang editor in chief of newspaper La Publicidad. At si Don Miguel Moraita naman, ang owner of the La Publicidad and a statement. In November 1885 to February 1886, Rizal was living in Paris for about four months and worked as an assistant of Dr. Louis Rickert. Um, si, si Dr. Louis Rickert is a leading German ophthalmologist which improved his knowledge of ophthalmology. So, um, si um, Dr. Louis D. Rickert, one of the um, guides sa iya, nag-guide and nag-improve sa knowledge and knowledge of result in ophthalmologies. Um, in January 1, 1886, Rizal wrote a letter to his parent and he tells that he's okay and he knew a lot about, about an eye operation. Next, um, next is, outside of his work hours, Rizal relaxed by visiting his friends such as the family of Padro de Taveras, Trinidad, Felix, Paz, Juan Luna, and Felix Recorrection Hidalgo. Um, Juan Luna, siya ay ang, ang, ang nagbent ng spolyaryo. Kilala siya bilang bilang the great um, brush a uh, master of brush so so during his um, free time Rizal spent many hours in Juan Luna studio kung saan naging model si Rizal sa mga gawa ni Juan Luna tulad ng the death of Cleopatra kung saan siya ay naging ay nagpost bilang Egyptian prince then ang um, at 
sa ano naman, The Blood Compact, nag-post naman si, si Rizal bilang si Katuna. Rizal is musician. Rizal has no natural aptitude for music and he's admitted he only studied in music because of his friend, of his schoolmates at Ateneo were taking music lessons. So, si Rizal ay na-encourage na mag-take na music lessons because of his of his um schoolmate schoolmate so on nine on um, november 27 1878 um result told enrique Lete that he learned the solfeggio or the dorimi fasolatido the piano and voice culture in one one minute and a half um and by determination and constant, constant practice, Rizal came to play a uh, float very, fairly well. Rizal was a florist in the various impromptu reunions of Filipinos in Paris. So, see, uh, as Rizal know how to play a float, so attend some reunions in some Filipino community in the Paris where where he plays a uh, float. Uh, um, si Rizal ay nakapagsulat or nakapag-compose ng mga kanta, which is a patriotic song, which is the Aling, Aling, Aling Mang Lahi or Any Race in English, which assert that any race aspire for freedom and sad dance. Next is the La Deportacion or the Deportation, which Rizal composed during um, the Pitan, uh, composed in the Pitan during exile. Next is an historic Hedal Bridge. Um, on February 1, 1886, Rizal left Gay Paris for Germany. So, uh, February 3, 1886, he arrived in Hedal Bridge. Um, ang Hedal Bridge ay isang historic city sa Germany na kung saan kilala ito sa old university and romantic surrounding. Si Jose Rizal ay naging famous sa Hedal Bridge dahil sa galing niya sa paglaro ng chess. At naging membro din, din si Rizal um, sa chess player club sa kanilang universidad. Um, si Rizal naman ay nagtrabaho sa University I Hospital under the direction of Dr. Otto Becker, a distinguished German ophthalmologist. Naging guru din ni Rizal si Dr. Otto Becker and Prof. Wilhelm Cohen at University. Um, on April 22, 1886, Rizal wrote a fine, fine poem entitled Alas Flores de Hedal Bridge or To the Flowers of Hedal Bridge um, because he was fascinated by the blooming flowers along the Nikkor River which is the light blue or cold forget-me-not, Rizal's favorite flower. So, ang poem na To the Flowers of Hedal Bridge signifies that there is no place like home. Even a person whom uh, shines a million miles away from his home will never forget where he came from and will always want to be in his place of comfort. Um, after writing the um, after writing to the flowers of Hedal Bridge, Rizal spent three months summer vacation at Wormfold. A mountainous river, a village near the Nail Hedal Bridge. He stayed at Dr. Carl Ulmer for three month summer vacation, who became his friend and admirer. So, Dr. Carl um, Ulmer is a kind and a hospitable person. So, Rizal, Jerry, um, when Rizal left her, his home, Rizal um, um, left a letter 
and he said to express his gratitude to um, Pastor Ulmer, where Rizal said, I thank you very much once more, and me also receive, and you may also receive when you when you are abroad the same treatment and friendship I have found among you. So in in first letter to Bloman Broman Treat, um, Broman Treat um, is a uh, is an Australian ethnologist and he has an interest in the Philippine language. On Jun July 31, 1886, nagsulat si Rizal ng letter kang Professor Blomenfried or si Ferdinand Blomenfried ng kung saan siya ay, ay director ng Ateneo of Let, Med, Let Merits Austria. Rizal sent um, arithmetica or arithmetic book kay Blomentrit which is pinablish ito sa dalang, dalawang langwahe. Ito ay Tagalog at, sa, at saka Spanish na kung saan ang author ay si Rofeno Baltasar Hernandez. So, si Rizal at saka si Ferdinand Bloman Treat ay naging magkaibigan. In Litzig and Dresden, in August 9, 1886, he boarded a train visiting various cities of Germany. In August 14, 1886, and he arrived in Litzig. In Rizali, he attended some lectures at the University of Litzig on history and psychology. In some Time sa lecturers, si Professor and Friedrich Wetzel and si Dr. Hans Miller. During ana nga time is na friend na ni Rizal. Then, he stayed two months and a half in this Germany. Rizal translated Schiller's William Tell from German into uh, into Filipino. So, Rizal translated Schiller's William Tell from German into Tagalog so that Filipinos might know the story of the champion of Swift's independence. Then later, he also translated into Tagalog for his nephews and nieces, Hans Christian and Andersen's fairy tales. Then, paga October 29, so after sa two months na pagpuyan ni Rizal sa German city, paga October 29, Nihawa siya. Then after he, after that, uh, he met Dr. Adolf B. Meyer as director of the Anthropological and Ethnological Museum. Then Rizal will come in Berlin's scientific circles. So Rizal was enchanted by Berlin because of its scientific atmosphere and absence of prejudice. Absence of risk prejudice. So, in Berlin, um, time and as a Berlin is after that, a result became a member of the Anthropological Society, the Ethnological Society, and the Geographical Society of the Berlin. So Rizal's life in Berlin. He lived in the famous capital of unified Germany for five reasons. So, during the time, wala lang si Rizal as parang really lang siya about sa tourists, kundi naa siya ay naa siya ay naa siya ay mission about sa pag-atinia sa Berlin. Tumaling five reasons. So, about to gain further knowledge of ophthalmology during an hour time, parang, para ma, para ma, ma-operahan po niya iyang mother in to further his studies of sciences and languages. Then next is to observe the economic and political conditions of the German nation. Next is to associate with famous German 
scientist and scholar, this is to publish his novel, No Limit Ang Mary. Enjoying an hotel. Rizal lead a methodical and frugal life in Berlin. Uh, by day, he worked as an he worked as an assistant in the clinic of Dr. Schwieger, eminent German of ophthalmologist. At night, he attended lectures in the University of Berlin. Next is then Rizal on German woman. Rizal wrote a letter addressed to her sister Trinidad expressing his high regard and admiration of German womanhood. So the German wo then, so the German woman serious, diligent, educated, friendly, then so Spanish woman, Josipi, uh, Fribulous, quarrelsome. So sa Spanish is sa Spanish woman kaya makig away gani then time is makig uh, mga chismo sa kaayo then about sa German woman uh, mga educated na educated and friendly then about so the Filipino woman uh, more interested in how the dress than how much they know so fine manners devotion and hospitality then about sa uh, sa the Filipino woman uh, more interested lang kung sa on pag kung sa mga dress then or about sa mga kabalan magwala then about sa hospitality next is German costumes then he was delighted at the, of the Germans Yolitai costume people take fine trees from the bushes and adorn it with lanterns, paper, lights, dolls, candies and frozen self-introduction to strangers in a social gatherings then according to the German code of etiquette, it is a bad manners for a British to remain a love and a wait for his post to make the proper introduction. The next is results darkest winter. The winter of 1886 was his darkest winter. He lived in poverty. Rizal starved in Berlin and shivered with wintry cold. So during Tapakoyan Rizal sa Paris, Rizal uh, results was darkest winter so during this brief winter he lived in poverty because no money arrived from Kalamba and he was flat broke. The diamond ring which his sister Saturnina gave him was in the phone shop. He could not pay his landlord. He had a sister eating only one meal a day and a daily meal consisted of bread and water or some cheap vegetables. His clothes were old and paid for. He washed himself because he could not afford to pay to the landlord. 